Hey there, welcome to the first of two exciting videos covering Siege the Day, the ultimate Throne and Liberty event. In this video, we're introducing the incredible streamers and hosts participating in the event. From seasoned esports veterans to rising stars, we've got a lineup you won't want to miss. Don't forget, this is just the beginning. My next video will spotlight the guilds joining the action, so stay tuned for that. Now let's dive right in and meet the people who will be bringing you all the epic action, commentary, and entertainment. First up, we have our host, the multi-talented Paola Pancake Pow Alejandra. Based out of California, Pancake Pow is a bilingual powerhouse in both the NA and Latin American esports scenes. With an incredible resume that spans hosting, shoutcasting, and interviews, she's been a key voice in events for Halo, Fortnite, Valorant, and more. Having worked with companies like Twitch, Intel, Netflix, and even Marvel, Pancake Pow brings experience and energy that will take the Siege of the Day event to the next level. If you want to keep up with her amazing work, check out her socials. Up next, our shoutcaster is Not Grenton. Streaming from Montreal, Canada, Not Grenton is a rising star in the MMO scene. Known for his strategic insights and MMORPG tips, he's been helping fans navigate the intricate world of Throne and Liberty. Oh, and did I mention he's fluent in Greek, English, and French? Talk about versatility both on and off the screen. Next in the lineup is Canon XO, our bilingual English and Korean streamer with a knack for in-depth MMO discussions. From PvP strategies to podcast hosting, Canon XO has built a strong community of MMO enthusiasts, especially in Throne and Liberty. While he's currently based in Korea, Canon was born and raised in the U.S., so he's got a unique perspective on both the Western and Asian gaming markets. Now, here's a name that needs no introduction, Shroud. A former pro Counter-Strike player and one of the most followed streamers in the world, Shroud brings his legendary aim and skills to Throne and Liberty. He's already made waves in MMOs like New World, and we're excited to see how he tackles the siege mechanics in this event. For those who love cozy vibes, we've got Berkey. Specializing in wholesome MMO content, Berkey creates a laid-back, community-focused environment perfect for relaxing streams. Whether you're looking for casual, throwing in liberty gameplay, or just a place to chill, Berkey's channel is where it's at. Another streaming veteran joining us is none other than Lyric. Known for his variety streams and laid-back yet engaging style, Lyric has played everything from indie games to MMOs. We're thrilled to have him involved in Siege the Day, and his unique humor will undoubtedly make the event even more entertaining. If you're into deep MMO discussions and high-level gameplay, look no further than Stoops. This content creator has extensive roots in games like World of Warcraft and Lost Ark, bringing his wealth of knowledge to Throne and Liberty. Expect top-tier commentary on game mechanics and strategy as Stoops takes part in the event. Prepare yourself for high-energy fun because Gentacles is here. Known for her chaotic ADHD nightmare personality, Gentacles will be bringing some seriously fun interactive content to Siege the Day. Her humor and spontaneity are infectious, making her streams a must-watch. Paul, aka Action Jackson, is another longtime Twitch favorite while joining our event. Known for his lighthearted and engaging approach to gaming, Action Jackson brings a balance of humor and skill that's sure to make the event more exciting. Next, we have Denna TV, a UK-based MMO aficionado. Denna's insightful gameplay, commentary, and love for RPGs makes him a perfect fit for this event. Oh, and did I mention he's currently traveling the world in a 4x4 camper van with his family? Now that's dedication. Matechi12 might be a smaller streamer, but he's quickly making a name for himself in the MMO community. Focused on games like Final Fantasy XIV and simulation RPGs, Matechi is steadily building a dedicated following with his consistent and thoughtful content. For all the FPS fans out there, Dulacard brings high-energy streams and insane action game skills. While he's better known for Call of Duty and Escape from Tarkov, Dulacard is no stranger to MMOs and will bring that same energy to Siege the Day. Jesse Rocks is up next, bringing his passion for RPGs, MMOs, and indie games. This Austrian streamer, also a Diablo 3 veteran, is all about creating interactive, story-driven gameplay that resonates with his community. Looking for tactical gameplay? Lappy is your go-to streamer. Known for team-based shooters like Overwatch and Valorant, Lappy also dabbles in MMOs. His teamwork and strategy make him a standout, and we're excited to see him in action during Siege the Day. 
Next, we have Tauntaun, known for his relaxed and humorous streams. This French content creator covers a wide range of games, particularly MMOs. We're eager to see what he brings to the table during the Throne and Liberty Siege. Our next contender is a French powerhouse in the world of streaming. Zerator, known for his incredible versatility across genres, from MMOs to strategy games, Zerator has cemented his place as a top-tier content creator. Beyond his gaming content, he's widely celebrated for organizing the annual charity event, Z Event, which has become a staple in the French gaming community. When it comes to Throne and Liberty, you can expect Zerator to bring his strategic expertise to the battlefield. Last but not least, let's give a warm welcome to Baggins TV, a UK-based streamer who is no stranger to the world of MMOs and RPGs. Known for his deep knowledge and thorough guides, particularly in New World, Baggins TV has established himself as a leading voice in the MMO space. With a dedicated community and his expertise, Baggins is sure to provide us with some invaluable insight during Siege the Day. And there you have it. These amazing streamers and hosts are set to make Siege the Day a truly unforgettable event. Be sure to follow each of them through their links and stay tuned and subscribe for my next video, where we'll dive into the guilds joining the battlefield. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at Siege the Day.